Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. And in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some of the more minor features found in iOS 5 Beta 2. If you haven't already seen the Wi-Fi Sync video, I would encourage you to go ahead and watch that first. I will provide a link in the description to that video, but otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So the first new feature that I noticed in iOS 5 Beta 2 was this new boot animation that takes place between the Apple logo and the personal setup. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So as usual, I'll just turn on the device, and you will see the uh, standard white Apple logo. And before that goes away, you will see a boot animation. So let me go ahead and fast forward the video so you can see that clearly now. So I think that ha animation had a pretty nice look to it. Um, it doesn't last long, of course, but nonetheless, it's kind of nice to see Apple change some things up a bit. Um, also, you'll notice there's this new info button here on the personal setup on the first screen. By cl clicking that, it will give you your IMEI number as well your, as your ICCID number. Of course, I'm not going to show that to you and make the same mistake like I did it in the Wi-Fi Sync video and show you guys my actual cell phone number. So let's go ahead and move on to the next feature. So another notable feature found in iOS 5 Beta 2 is the appearance of lock screen notifications. So I'm going to go ahead and send myself a text message here. Quickly go to the lock screen. As you can see, it appears as in a like bubble sort of format. It looks pretty similar to the iOS 4 type of notification, with the exception of the uh, slide to reply option that is now available here, as well as being in the black color. Now, if I were to um, turn it on again, it would go back to the previous lock screen feature that we saw in iOS 5 Beta 1. So it just appears that way the first time. Maybe it'll stand out a little bit more with the new notifications that you've received. Then it'll go back to the old format, knowing that it's just an old notification. There are also some differences found in the actual notification center itself, so let's go ahead and swipe that down. As you can see here, if you have no new notifications, it will simply say that. Additionally, the uh, weather app, which hasn't finished loading up here, um, is still there, but the actual stock widget is turned off now by default. Um, you can turn that on by simply going into settings, into the notification center, um, going into not notification center, and turning on the um, actual widget. So as you can see here, it is now on. And last but not least deals with over-the-air updates. Now if you actually go into settings and software update, it will actually search for an update while you are over 3G. While in beta 1 it didn't allow you to do that. So updates may be coming over 3G. Maybe it'll be something like 5.1 or 5.2. And maybe they'll make you have to get um, Wi-Fi updates for major updates like iOS 6 or something like that. So that pretty much wraps up all the... Um, notable new features in iOS 5 Beta 2. Once again, please check out the Wi-Fi Sync video. I think that's the most prominent new feature found in this beta. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this. Please like the video and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.